Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah Isaiah here, and today I'm going to be discussing Coco Bandicoot being playable in the Insane Trilogy. You all know how I feel about it. You saw my reaction. It was a great time. Unfortunately though, a lot of people found out that Coco was going to be playable due to a YouTuber known as Unlisted Leaf for releasing footage of Coco Bandicoot being playable prior to the official reveal at E3 unfortunately so we all can fucking agree to not have no big YouTubers touch the Crash series because they like to ruin shit and also I would like to state that um, this isn't the first Crash Bandicoot title or titles rather I suppose I guess I think technically but yeah this isn't the first Crash game to include Coco Bandicoot as a playable character in Crash Bandicoot 4 the Wrath of course actually was also playable but the execution wasn't as good in comparison to how it's going to be in the Insane Trilogy so I just wanted to get it um, <clears throat> excuse me I just wanted to get that out the way so um, in terms of Coco Bandicoot being playable in the Insane Trilogy now from what I'm hearing apparently she's playable in Crash's 1 and two because of time travel now while i think that's interesting i think that's i don't know how to i don't know how to feel about it it's 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 funny it's weird it's kind of crazy but uh I don't, i'm not gonna really overthink about it too much this is crash bandicoot the lore isn't super duper deep or anything but i think it's interesting but it did confuse me um that they actually had like a i mean okay you have to have a reason for everything so I don't know maybe it wouldn't have worked either way like people would have questions even if we got an explanation as to why Coco Bandicoot was in the Insane Trilogy so I think it's funny overall but I really think it's cool it's funny how she keeps the laptop in her hand as she dances and as you play as her Naughty Dog and Vicarious Visions logos are on the laptop as well and also throughout the trailer she takes a selfie and I'm assuming that time travel has something to do with that because how else would she get a cell phone I just thought that was a funny detail and also if you look at the Crash Bandicoot 2 intro for the insane trilogy she's actually playing uncharted 4 which is pretty hilarious it's a nice little easter egg and a nod to naughty dog since naughty dog nodded to the crash series and uncharted 4 with that easter egg when you're playing crash 1 as nathan drake spoilers but yeah you're doing that i think that's pretty cool there's really not too much to dissect or analyze rather you're pretty much just playing Crash, I mean, not Crash, excuse me, Coco Bandicoot, but in a better way, unlike Wrath of Cortex, so, yeah. There's really not much to go for here, or go in on here, but overall, it's pretty nice. I can't wait to see more. Well, I can't wait to play it because I'm honestly getting sick of people talking about it at this point. I just kind of want to play it. Yes, I know I'm a hypocrite. I just want the game. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching, and oh yeah, wait, there's another thing I forgot to mention too. Coco Bandicoot, not Coco Bandicoot, oh my god. In the Crash House in Crash 3's intro of the Insane Trilogy, uh, I believe Nathan Drake is in there, like on the picture frame or something like that. He's he's in there, you can go look at it for yourself. I'm not showcasing it just simply due to the fact that I don't like to have, I don't like to have footage in here with people's fat ass logos on the screen of a game that isn't even out yet when they're revealing gameplay or something. I don't know. You get what I mean. It's annoying. The links to the footage will be in the description. I'll see you guys later in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next upload whenever that will be, if ever. Peace.